It's time the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the CDC, designate brain injury as a chronic condition. Brain injury of any kind is a leading cause of disability in the United States and throughout the world. Brain injury, both acquired and traumatic, is associated with long-term medical conditions, including increased risk of cardiovascular disorders, metabolic disorders, and neurological disorders, including epilepsy, stroke, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's disease, and chronic traumatic encephalitis, CTE. It's a cause and contributing factor to mental health disorders, including anxiety, depression, and impulsivity. Studies have shown that brain injury is a leading cause of homelessness and incarceration. It's associated with alcoholism and other forms of substance abuse. In victims of domestic violence, in military service members, and in athletes, brain injury is often diagnosed. Frequent long-term signs and symptoms of brain injury include chronic migraine headaches, sleep disturbances, sensitivity to noise and light, memory loss, concentration impairment, difficulties with multitasking, and behavioral and emotional problems. Yet for many, brain injury is thought of as an isolated event without any long-term consequences. Brain injury can change a person's life in an instant and can have long-term chronic effects. This year during Brain Injury Awareness Month, the Brain Injury Association of America has called out for the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention and the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services to designate brain injury as a chronic condition. You can read more about the chronic impact of brain injury on the Brain Injury Association of America's website, www.biausa.org. This designation will affect the public, the medical profession, insurance carriers, and government programs in the recognition, treatment, and coverage of this life-changing injury. In addition to the impact on public awareness and understanding about this condition, formal designation of brain injury as a chronic health condition would impact funding for brain injury research, allow for additional public health resources to be focused on lifelong effects of TBI, and would incentivize health insurance providers, particularly Medicare and Medicaid, to provide additional benefits and other supports as they do for other chronic conditions. So let's all join together and call upon the CDC to recognize brain injury as a chronic condition requiring long-term medical attention and a condition which impacts and limits a person's day-to-day function. Thanks for joining me this week, and I look forward to meeting with you again on a new edition of the Brain Injury Insider.